question the molecule of iodine form the look at the iodine is a nonpolar and nonpolar molecules have london dispersion forces and they are collectively termed as molecular crystal including hydrogen bonding and other now iodine is the example of molecular solid that is choice alpha when two ice cubes are present over each other they unite to form one cube due to ice is an example of molecular solid and molecular solid like ice have hydrogen bonding so hydrogen bonding is acting there that is choice delta for the chemical reaction that is nitrogen gas reacting with hydrogen gas giving ammonia gas plus heat means that this is exothermic reaction we can maximize the yield of nh3 by increasing the temperature no because this is exothermic decrease in temperature will favor more yield by decreasing the pressure no because moles of reactant are greater than mole of product so increase in pressure will be required by increasing the volume of the vessel no by continuous withdrawal of ammonia after interval yes this choice d is correct if you withdraw the product from the equilibrium mixture more product will be formed due to decrease in concentration of the products the higher pressure of 200 atm in haber process is used for it is used for better yield this choice a is correct because moles of reactant or volume of reactant is higher compared to volume of products so in order to increase the volume of product you have to increase the pressure this pressure will decrease the volume of reactant and more ammonia will be formed by which of the following factors equilibrium state is attained earlier now here temperature no the only thing that established the equilibrium earlier is use of a catalyst choice delta which of the following is not the use of a buffer solution used for the calibration of ph meter no it is used used to preserve biological specimen yes maintain the ph of human blood yes predict the concentration of a substance no it cannot predict the concentration of substance choice d is the correct choice what is incorrect about activated complex it is a high energy species yes it is a stable species no it's not stable it's unstable it's an unstable species yes potential energy is maximum at activated complex stage yes so the choice b is correct the unit of rate constant is the same as date of the rate of reaction in which following order of reaction remember unit of rate constant k equals rate divided by concentration power n where n shows order of the reaction if you keep this rate it is mole per dm cube per second this is the unit for rate divided by concentration is mole per dm cube power zero for zero order anything having power zero is equal to one so you will get mole per dm cube per second this is the unit for k in zero order reaction you need the rate unit and order unit k is same choice a if a reaction is first order with respect to a reactant then the rate will be if concentration of the reactant is doubled if the reactant the rate of the reaction is first order and if you increase the rate by two power one the increase in the rate will be two times means doubled this is choice a the correct equation for the first law of thermodynamic is both a and b are correct equation yahan pe unhone ye galti ki hai kyunki agar system heat release karega to q pe minus ho jayega aur system agar q heat absorb karega to plus ho jayega to yahan pe dono correct option hai a and b one calorie is equal to 4.18 joules choice b is correct the thermal energy at constant pressure is called look at this point q is equal to delta e plus p delta v while for enthalpy if we take change in enthalpy is equal to delta e plus p delta v but now the pressure is constant when the pressure is constant you will get delta h is equal to delta e and here q is equal to delta e so both heat and enthalpy becomes internal energy so the choice is choice b which statement correctly describes the term standard electrode potential standard electrode potential is the electrode potential measured at standard condition with hydrogen electrode so choice b is the correct oxidation number of an element in free state is zero state forward kyunki na to wo koi bond bana chuka hai to is wajah se na electron diya honge na electron liye honge this is why that is zero 
the branch of science which deals with the conversion of electrical energy, chemical energy, and vice versa is electrochemistry. Choice A. Which of the following has greatest difference of electronegativity? Hydrogen and fluorine. Fluorine is the most electronegative element. So when it is compared to hydrogen, you will get highest difference of electronegativity. Ionization energy decreases down the group because so atom ka size bartha hai, jiski wajah se ionization energy decrease hoti hai. So the correct choice is choice D. Carbon atoms in ethane are dash hybridized. Remember for carbon, when it forms all the four single bonds, it is sp3 hybrid. When it forms one double bond in two single bond, it is sp2 hybrid. When it forms two double bonds or one single and one triple bond, it is sp hybrid. Now there is ethane and ethane are saturated hydrocarbon member. So carbon-carbon form all the single bonds, that is sp3 hybridization, choice A. The type of bonding in zinc is metallic because zinc itself is metal and metals have metallic bonding. Which one of the following is semiconductor? Aluminium, silicon, phosphorus and magnesium. So you are getting B, silicon as a semiconductor. Which of the following property decrease in group 2 as we go down the group? Shielding effect that increases, atomic radius increases, proton number increases, ionization energy is decreasing. Not only in group 2, but in all groups, ionization energy decreases down the group. Which of the following alkali can form normal oxide as well as peroxide? So, sodium can form normal oxide as well as peroxide. This is choice A. The transition element which doesn't show variable valency. The transition element show variable valency. If we take zinc, zinc is a non-typical transition element which show no variable valency. So, zinc is the correct choice. The binding energy of transition metal increases up to group 3rd B, 4th B, 2nd B and 6th B. It increases up to 6th B, choice D. Because number of unpaired electron increases and they become maximum up to 6th B group and after that they decreases. Homocyclic organic compounds are subdivided into two types namely, so they are alicycline aromatic this is choice A. The type of isomerism arising due to shifting a proton from one atom in the same molecule that is tautomerism and the two isomers are at equilibrium, dynamic equilibrium. This is choice C. In alkanes, each carbon has hybridization. Again, in alkene, alkane, R carbon are singly covalent bonded and every carbon forms four single covalent bonds, so they are sp3 hybrid. For the reaction given below, N2 plus 3H2 gives ammonia. How many moles of nitrogen are required to synthesize 4 mole of ammonia? So, pehle balanced chemical equation se aap apne liye calculation kar I am writing the balanced chemical equation. And here, according to these stoichiometric calculations, 1 mole of nitrogen produces 2 mole of ammonia. Now, they want to have 4 mole of ammonia. 4 mole of ammonia. So, agar hum dekh 2 mole se 4 mole ho gaya hai, ammonia double ho gaya hai. So nitrogen bhi uske saath double ho jayega. Two mole nitrogen will be needed. That is choice B. Aluminium reacts with oxygen according to the following reaction. The reaction is given. 27 gram of aluminium will react with how much of oxygen? Okay, 27 is the atomic mass of aluminium means one mole of aluminium. In the equation, four mole of aluminium needs three mole of oxygen. Three mole of oxygen. This aluminium is taken as 1 mole. Now, 1 mole of aluminium will consume x mole of oxygen. Cross multiplication se ho jayega 4x is equal to 3. Now, x is equal to 3 by 4. 3 by 4 is 0.75. Now, we need mass of oxygen. These are mole of oxygen. So, mass of oxygen will become divide the moles of oxygen 0.75 by its atomic mass that is 16 we will get the answer in mass aluminium reacts with oxygen according to the following reaction 4 mole of aluminium 3 mole of oxygen gas giving 2 moles of aluminium oxide 27 gram of aluminium react with how much of oxygen now if you can see that uh, 27 gram aluminium is 1 mole in the equation 4 mole of aluminium is reacting with 3 mole of oxygen gas. Now if aluminium is taken as 1 mole then x mole of oxygen will be used. Now cross multiplication 4x is equal to 3 
or x is equal to 3 by 4 which becomes 0 0.75. Now these are moles of oxygen. We need mass of oxygen. So mass of oxygen find karne ke liye given moles multiplied its molecular mass that is 32 aur yahan se hume answer mil jayega 24 gram. So the choice is choice C 24 gram. One mole of a substance is the amount of that substance that has the same number of particles, atom, ions or molecules is there are atoms in exactly. Now one mole and the option diye gaye hain. To option mein bhi humne one mole ko dekhna hoga. Ke one mole koon si quantity hai. To phir dono mein particles barabar honge. If you look at choice A, 1.008 gram of hydrogen gas, it is equal to 0.5 mole. It's not our choice. 16 gram of oxygen gas, it is half mole, not our choice. 12 gram of carbon 12 isotope it is equal to 1 mole this is our choice 12 gram of magnesium no it is 0.5 mole so choice c is correct choice 12 gram of carbon has the same particle as 1 mole of a substance principal quantum number a presented by symbol very simple question n choice b shape of the subshell is explained by which quantum number that is azimuthal quantum number choice b the electronic configuration for degenerate orbital is explained by that is explained by Hund's rule and Hund's rule is choice C. Hund says that if the same energy degenerate orbital will be the electron will be accommodate karenge with same spin. Maximum number of electron which can be placed in one orbital. So one orbital can accommodate a maximum of two electron that is choice B. Air is a mixture of gases. The molecules of air do not settle down due to it is due to elastic collision of gas molecules which means they are one with each other and they don't have any increase in motion and they don't have any increase in motion and they Collision shown by gas involved the following No energy change, no pressure change, small energy change, large energy change Choice A, no energy change, they are known as elastic collisions According to Charles Law, volume of gas reduces to 0 at to 8273.15 degrees Celsius लेकिन वो जब minus 273.15 degree Celsius हो जाए, that is known as absolute zero, Kelvin scale पे, so choice C is the correct choice. The strongest hydrogen bond is present in, it is present in HF, क्योंकि hydrogen और fluorine में जो electronegativity difference है, वो बहुत ज्यादा है, तो इस वजह से strongest bond जो है, वो HF में है, और अगर आप H2O को select करते हैं, तो वो इस वजह से के number of hydrogen bonds per molecule, तो वो H2O ज्यादा बनाता है, इस वजह से वो liquid form में होता है लेकिन स्ट्रांगेस्ट हाइड्रोजन बॉन्ड जो है वो एचएफ में मौजूद है व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग हैज हाईएस्ट सरफेस टेंशन तो जिसमें इंटर मॉलिक्यूलर फोर्सेस स्ट्रांग होंगी उसका सरफेस टेंशन भी ज्यादा होगा ऑप्शन में वाटर इज देयर तो वाटर का सरफेस टेंशन बाकी गिवन लिक्विड्स के मुकाबले में ज्यादा है बिकॉज़ ऑफ हैविंग स्ट्रांग इंटर मॉलिक्यूलर फोर्सेस कॉल्ड हाइड्रोजन बॉन्डिंग व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग हैज हाईएस्ट बॉइलिंग पॉइंट now these are all alkane or alkane mein jo hydrogen bonding hai number of molecular weight pe depend karta hai to jo c10 wala decane hai iska sabse high boiling point hoga ice floats on the surface of water due to due to its low density aur wo low density ice ke molecule ke andar spaces ban jate hain to empty spaces in the structure of ice jiski wajah se unka volume badh jata hai aur volume badhne se density kam ho jati hai pani ke muqable mein aur ice jo hai wo float karne lag jata hai which of the following is not oxidized by, by any oxidizing agent? Benzene, toluene, ethyl benzene, and xylene. Remember, in only any oxidizing agent. So any oxidizing agent may agar ham strong oxidizing agent is the malkare, to wo benzene ko oxidize kar sakta hai. Likin inka agar matlab ye hai, to pir correct choice yam be benzene hi rahega. Toluene, ethyl benzene, xylene, ye sare alkylated benzene hai, to ye easily oxidize hote hai. Question here should be here that which of the following cannot be easily oxidized. So benzene is the answer. The correct order of reactivity of hydrocarbons is as follows. Benzene is the correct answer. 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 Benzene HBr and HI down the group acidity increases so HI is stronger than HBr stronger than HCl and HCl stronger than HF choice D alkyl halide are also known as halogen derivatives of alkanes that is choice A Grignard reagent is formed when alkyl halide reacts in the presence of ethers with 
So Brignard reagent is RMGX, organometallic compound, and magnesium is the choice. Phenols are very reactive towards Phenols are very reactive towards oxidizing agents. Oxidizing can easily be oxidized in alcohols. Lekin reducing agent is ki reduction ke liye pir humne catalyst wagera ka istemal karna hoga. Is wajah se wo easily reduce nahi hota. Oxidizing agent se easily reduce ho jata hai. Sorry, oxidize ho jata hai, not reduced. Both alcohols and phenol contains to alcohol of indolo mein OH hydroxy group hota hai. Select the correct order of relative acidic strength of phenol, alcohol, water and carboxylic acid. So carboxylic acids are more acidic than phenol, more acidic than water and water more acidic than alcohol. This choice B is the correct choice. Carboxylic acid reacts with alcohol to form esters. This is acidification reaction. May I ask you what you Catalytic reduction of aldehyde and ketone forms alcohol. Choice A. When aldehyde reacts with 50% sodium hydroxide, the reaction is called as 50% in which reaction can a zero reaction. That is choice D. Based on function, thyroxine can be classified as so thyroxine, thyroid gland or gland hormone release karte hain. So it is hormonal protein. Enzyme is a natural substance that increases the rate of reaction, chemical reaction. It is choice A. So this was the paper of Shahid Zulfikar Ali Bhutto, Medical University. Wishing you all the best ahead.